So welcome to another Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating a contact form which will go inside our modal. Now a couple of videos back I showed you how to create modals, these pop-up boxes. So if you haven't watched that video go watch that first so that you can get this pop-up box. And I just left it at some paragraph text in there because I didn't want to overcomplicate things by putting forms in there and stuff. But you guys in your comments requested for this tutorial to be made to for, for like forms in here. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're only going to be focusing on the front end. We're not actually going to be doing anything when these buttons are pressed. This one will just close the modal. This one won't do anything. Although you could bind this to a PHP script, which will actually send you an email when someone fills this in. But for now, we're just going to leave it at the front end. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say I am basing this on the getbootstrap.com documentation under CSS, Forms, Horizontal Form. This is what we're creating. Uh, it's pretty much based on this code, although I will be modifying it for our fields. I've already got my live preview open right here. Um, so yeah, in brackets, just file live preview. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is just remove this paragraph in case you have one. Uh, if you don't, just skip the step. But yeah, just remove that so we've got a blank space here. Now the first thing you want to do is actually create our form tag. So we're going to put that right here, just above our modal header. So just fixing the indentation. We'll go form class equals form dash horizontal. And then we don't want to close this off there. We're going to close it off just after our footer. And then indent everything inside it. Okay, so I was just indenting that for structural purposes to make it all look clean. Uh, so yep, that's pretty much why we do it just so that we can sort of understand what this code means and it's a lot clearer to us. Inside here what we're going to do is create a div with a class equal to form group. Form dash group. Spell it right, that would help. Right, okay, so in here what we're going to have is a label. Okay, so basically this form group is like one row in this. So it's kind of hard to explain but basically, this will be a form group here, this will be another form group here, this is another one here. So that's basically how it is, it's basically structuring all the different layers. So inside here we're going to, that's our form group, inside here we're going to have a label class, label. So we need to give our uh, text boxes when we create them IDs. So this is going to be 4, so that's the ID that's going to be 4. And we're going to be four equal name uh, contact dash name. That's what we're going to give it an ID. Remember this. We will need to use this later, and we'll give it a class equal to col dash lg dash two, and that will just make it take up uh, two out of twelve of the width. Uh, if you if you go back to our fluid grid rows or whatever it's called. Uh, that will explain this if you don't want to know what it means. So we'll also have one more clause in here which is control dash label. And that will give it the right styling. So this is simply going to say uh, name. Save that and come over here, contact, and you see it says name. That's it for now. Now we need to put a text box. So the text box is going to go directly underneath this. But for this what we need to do is create a div with a class equal to col dash lg dash 10 and close it off and here we'll put the actual text box so input type equals text class is equal to form dash control id equals and then remember the id needs to be this here what we put a for so this label is basically attached to this in a way and that's going to be contact dash name and we'll also add a placeholder, which is the default text, which is kind of like grayed out. So you can't actually copy that or anything, and it doesn't affect you. It just is grayed out text, kind of a hint. So here I'm just going to put a full name. Save it. And fingers crossed when we refresh this, where we go contact, there we go. There's our uh, name field. Okay, so now for the other fields, um, we can pretty much just copy this and paste it there. So this one is going to be contact dash uh, email, and then this is all going to say the same. This is going to say email now, 
uh, that's going to stay the same input type equals email now this is basically a text box but the difference is when we go on like a mobile browser modern mobile browsers like the keyboard will have the uh, sort of email at sign so it's much easier to get it basically readjusts the keyboard on a mobile device and remember bootstrap is mobile first so this is important and it's going to be contact dash email to pair up with this and then placeholder you can put like an example here so you at example.com I see a lot of sites doing that now contact and there's our second field okay so then the last one we're going to do uh, before we start the buttons is the text area so again we can just copy this just save time save it again and this is going to be contact dash message uh, this is going to be message and then input type we're going to get rid of this line and HTML we have something called a text area in case you're not already aware so we're going to be using a text area for this so we're going to do text area that's the tag so if I refresh that contact you see it's just a plain text area right now so we need the styling and what we're going to do is give it a class equal to form dash control again this form dash control basically gives it form styling so the correct styling for just general forms so now if we save that and refresh it well if we don't need to refresh we've got the message form and if we want to add height to this we can just put rows equals the number of rows so I'm going to put uh, 8 save refresh and there's your 8 rows so that is our form uh, next thing we're going to do quickly is put our buttons in make them more well not really work but at least be part of the form so for this I'm just going to get rid of these I'm going to create a button actually we can leave the A class here for close because we want one for close but we're also going to put a button and this is going to have class equal to btn btn dash submit and also a type equal to submit and what the submit is basically oh, not submit submit the submit type equal submit is basically going to say it's going to submit the form to that PHP file or whatever however that's going to be handled you don't need to worry about that for now we're just doing front end but now if I just go contact oh sorry not btn dash submit I meant to put uh, btn dash diff dash primary and then if we go here uh, we need to add some text as well that would help submit or send actually would be better off and then if we go contact hopefully yep there we go we've got a send button it's primary and that is submitting the form so let's put this question mark here that's saying that it's submitted the form so that's it for this video uh, that's how to create forms oh one last thing uh, to get this into our read page I'm just going to copy this entire modal from there to copy that and in our read page oh that wasn't meant to happen uh, we're just going to paste that in there to replace it so now it'll work for both pages I'm not going to show you because I'm just going to assume it works uh, so yeah so thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video